It's the first day of school for thousands of North Texas kids, and uh, actually, it's winding down right now. And from the looks of it, everything went very well. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren caught up with the head of Dallas ISD, who promised a bright year ahead. Dallas ISD superintendent made a stop here at Donald Elementary School this morning, where he spoke with us about what's new this year, from buses to school security. He also touted DISD's improvement on the state report card. This school in particular is making the grade. Okay, Big hugs and brave faces for the pre-K through fifth graders at L. O. Donald Elementary School this morning in Cockrell Hill. Oh, hello, <laughs> DJ. But moms and dads feel they're sending off their kids into good hands. She me my new teacher. We've been preparing for like over a month. Yeah, and she is excited too. While Dallas ISD just received its highest rating to date from the TEA, a B on the state report card, Donald Elementary received an A. This is the only non magnet school in DISD where all fifth graders passed the math star exam this last year. 96% passed in reading. So good to see you all again. Principal Catherine Carter says teacher turnover is almost zero. We're outscoring some of the magnets, and uh, we're very proud of that, and our kids are very proud of that. Of our early learning program that we started uh, several years ago is now paying dividends for the students to be able to read on grade level. Dr. Michael Hinojosa says this neighborhood school becomes a leadership academy with the start of a new year. We're very proud they're breaking the odds. And that distinction is not lost on the students they serve. I'm going to become a leader, which is going to help all the rest of the school become leaders. When it comes to school security, the superintendent told us that DISD spent time over the summer training counselors and principals to address students' mental needs. He also stressed a tightened partnership between the school district and Dallas police. In Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.